The future of warfare is autonomous. To compete with China, particularly in the Taiwan Strait, the U.S. Department of Defense has been ramping up development of autonomous boats. But, according to an exclusive Reuters report, things could be better. The U.S. Navy recently conducted a test of autonomous drone boats off the California coast that was meant to promote the Pentagon's prowess. During that test, one of the vessels stalled. As the team worked to fix a software bug, another vessel T-boned it. Reuters actually managed to get their hands on footage of the accident, yet it hit it. Hit it real good. Boom! Got him! The boats were made by rival contractors, Austin, Texas-based Saronic Technologies and Baltimore, Maryland-based Black Sea Technologies. According to the report, building this autonomous fleet has been no easy feat, and a combination of software and human errors have led to other accidents. Part of the problem is getting these systems to talk to one another, which is important for a U.S. military hoping these autonomous swarms can be truly autonomous. And these vessels are pricey. Each one can cost millions. Still, it's a relatively new technology that the DOD is trying to ramp up amid personnel changes with the new administration, as well as acquisitions. For example, about four months ago, Saronic bought Gulf Craft, a Louisiana-based shipbuilder, to accelerate its autonomous shipbuilding capabilities. The deal gave Saronic a shipyard on the Gulf Coast that it will use as the prototyping and production hub for its medium unmanned surface vessel fleet, starting with Marauder, Saronic's 150-foot autonomous surface vessel. The technology is a top priority for the Trump administration, which has earmarked nearly $5 billion for maritime autonomous systems. I'm David Manti. This is Manufacturing Now.